So now let's go over how to analyze stock trends and how to use support and resistance levels for trading. Learning how to find trends and use support and resistance levels is highly important for technical trading. There are tons of strategies and techniques out there for drawing support and resistance lines for technical analysis. Other overlays such as moving averages or Bollinger Bands could also serve as support and resistance levels as well. Many traders are extremely picky about getting each line exactly right, but I just do what works for me. There is no right or wrong method, simply what has worked and what hasn't worked for you. Support levels are certain price levels that provide support to the price of an asset as it falls. When a support level is reached, the price typically reverses and continues to climb higher. This means that the price is likely to bounce off certain levels rather than fall through them. But if a support level fails, it instantly becomes a resistance level and the price typically continues to fall until another support level is reached. Support levels can provide a floor that the stock or asset will bounce off and can be a great place to enter a trading position. Resistance levels provide a ceiling, which is where you will want to exit your trading position. If the price falls below a support level, that level then becomes resistance. If the price breaks above a resistance level, now that level becomes a support. A great trading strategy is to use support levels in order to help identify purchase points and to use resistance levels to intelligently sell at calculated price points. Using both support and resistance levels can help you form trading channels, which you can use to make smarter entry and exit decisions. Trend lines, support, and resistance lines are very similar, except trend lines show the overall direction of a stock, while support and resistance lines are used more for trading levels. Not only can using trend lines, support, and resistance levels help you see the overall direction of a stock, but also helps you select good entry and exit points within the trading channel. If the price movement continues to make new highs, this means the stock is in an uptrend. If the price movement is forming new lows, this is considered to be a downtrend. If you were looking to invest for a longer period of time, you could plot trend lines to see if the stock trend is heading in the right direction. For short term trading or swing trading, you could purchase when the stock price hits the bottom support level and sell when it hits the resistance at the top of the channel. So now let's go over how to use trend, support, and resistance lines on our candlestick chart. Identifying trends and using support and resistance levels can help locate great entry and exit points for trading, but identifying them involves a little bit of technical analysis. To add support, resistance, or trend lines to your chart on TradingView, let's use the tool menu on the left here. This is where you can select to add indicator lines, text, and other elements to your chart. I'm going to add the line to the top of the trading range here at the two high points. These are the points in the channel where the stock didn't break through, so this will be considered our resistance level. To complete our channel, let's add another trend line down here at the bottom of our candlesticks. We're going to connect the low points this time. Before this current channel started, you can see that the bottom line actually served as a resistance level for the previous channel, but it broke through and now we're in the current one. As our new support level, prices will bounce off this level until the trend is broken. When prices break out of the trading channel to the downside, this is the time to look to sell. Volatility will likely pick up and the stock will fall until another support level is reached. As you can see here, after the stock fell through our support level, it tried to go back through, but this level has now become a resistance level and the stock went into a massive freefall. But once the price hit this point here, which is actually a previous support level, the price quickly reversed. Adding support and resistance levels to your chart to form a trading channel is a great strategy. Not only can you clearly see support and resistance levels, but also the current stock's trend. If the stock is forming new highs as it trades through the channel, this is an uptrend. If it's forming new lows as it goes through the channel, this is a downtrend. If the stock is forming a horizontal channel, this is considered a sideways trend. You can use support and resistance lines in multiple different ways for trading. If you're a short term or swing trader, simply buy at the support levels and sell at the resistance levels. If you're a longer term trader or an investor, you can simply buy when an uptrend starts and sell when the trend is broken. So that's a basic overview of trends, support, and resistance levels. I'll see you in the next video.